Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go through these 18 cards, which is the first CGC submission I'm going to make. I've already put in the paperwork. Now I just need to do my pre-grading process and clean any of them if there's dust or whatever on them. Try and get them in as best condition as I can to get them sent off. And then I'm going to use uh, Gary's or King Pokemon's technique that I saw in his video from last week where he cuts one side of the card so it makes it really easy for the grader to just slip it in and out and apparently they don't even send you back your sleeves or your semi-rigid cases anyways so I figured why not so what I'll do is go through them one by one I'll take out the card Cut it along this edge. That's pretty bad. Did a bad job on that, but oh well. Easier if I do it off camera. I'll just splice it all together eventually. Okay, so then I'll end up doing that all off camera probably. It just makes it much easier to just slide the card. It's actually still got some friction in there, so I can do that. That'll be how I submit the card. But like I said, I'll do that off camera. The sleeve protects it from these jagged edges when it comes in and out and the card doesn't fly around at all once it's in there or it doesn't move around at all so let's get into it here. So we've got the Dark Ampharos. couple scratches on the hollow there but looks clean of factory lines some silvering around the edges hollow bleed or whatever you want to call that centering looks okay on the back we've got some whitening along the edges corners look okay except for that one centering looks good Surface looks pretty good. I'll be fairly conservative in my estimations, I guess. So let's call that CGC7 for the prediction. Looking at it closely myself, I can see a small little doesn't really pick up on the camera, but there's a small little crease kind of factory line or something that lines, runs parallel with the edge of that card. It's okay, we're in still, still in really good shape. Like that. Like that. Get it down to the bottom left corner like that. You can see it doesn't move around at all. Pretty comfortable with sending it in that way. Okay, that's card number one for the submission. Pikachu. Corner's got some whitening. 
The edges themselves look not too bad, except for down there. Down there. Centering looks good. Let's call that, because of the corners and the bottom there, let's call that another CGC7 for the Pikachu first edition. Chancy. By the way, these first seven cards are not mine. They're my brother-in-law's childhood cards. Is Chancy. There's a few scratches on the hollow. Doesn't look like any. Yeah, a couple vertical factory lines there. Not bad condition though, a little silvering around the edges. Centering looks a little thick on the right maybe, a little bit on the bottom. A little bit of whitening on the corners, a few of them. This one looks pretty good. The edges all look pretty good. With the scratching on the foil though, I'm gonna call this one a CGC7 as well. You can see on the foil, there's or actually not on the foil, but there's a little bit of foil bleed or something down there in the text area. You can kind of see it. it looks like glitter or something, but I don't know if that'll affect the quality. I'm still going to call it a CGC7. This is Neo something, Neo Destiny maybe, Jungle First Edition base set obviously. These ones are the Legendary Collection I'm pretty sure, from 2002 I guess, yeah 2002 on the bottom. These are the Reverse Hollows. Even though this Nidoran is just a common, these are the this is the first set with reverse hollows. So this card can actually still fetch a decent price. Couple light scratches on the surface. Nothing crazy. Few flecks off the corners, a little bit of whitening, but this card is in really good shape actually. The centering is a little bit off, a little thicker on the left on the back. Pretty good on the front. So overall I'm going to call this a CGC8. I cut that one real cleanly, that looks much better. Try and do it like that from now on. From now on. Next we've got the Magikarp Reverse Hollow from Legendary Collection, or the Legendary Set, whatever it's called. These cards are so cool. I never had any of these as a kid and I still don't have any. So it's real cool seeing these in person. This is a really clean card. A little bit of whitening along the edges and corners, but not bad at all. Centering is perfect. I'm going to call a CGC 9 on this one. Like I said, I'm going to go big or go home on this one and call a CGC 9. Alakazam next, very good card. The Venusaur is gonna be the big one from this set. Centering 
things a little thick on the left, maybe. That hollow foil looks really clean. Hardly any whitening, just a little bit. Good centering. Because of that centering issue, I'm going to call this one a CGC 8. This Venusaur is an amazing card. I think it's one of the more expensive ones from this set. The reverse holo Charizard and Blastoise, of course, being better. Centering's good. Holo foil, there's a few print lines, looks like, running vertically there. Tiny bit of whitening on the edges and corners. I think I'll still predict a CGC 8 on this one. Okay, getting into my cards now. This is still the same order. And I'm doing this in the order that I put them in on the sheet. It's easier that way. Chancy. See that hollow foil looks real clean on this. I don't see a lot of damage. A couple small scratches maybe. Well in that light there's a lot of scratches, but just gotta look at it in a certain angle, I guess. Centering's a little thick on the left, maybe. There's hardly any whitening on this card. So the only thing that'll take it away, take away from it is the light scratching on the hollow, a little bit of off-centering. So let's call this a CGC 8. It was a little bit bent too, it was always like that, I'm not sure why. Base set Magneton. Bit of scratching on the hollow. Centering looks good on front. A little bit of edge damage. A little bit of corner damage. Did I say the grade? I'm going to give this a conservative 8, CGC 8 also. This Dragonite is going to be my breadwinner, except for that centering, Ooh, that's not great. You can see it's a little thinner on the right, thicker on the left, might be enough to bring it down. That hollow foil looks very clean. Oh. Print lines you can see right there, can't you? Okay, maybe it's not so clean. Very clean edges and corners though. I think the average will hopefully bring it up. I'm going to call very optimistically a CGC 9 on this one.
Fossil set Gengar. Little bit of print line action. Not much in the way of scratches though. Centering is good. Not a lot of whitening. Except on that corner. Centering a little thick on top and on left maybe. Gonna be hopeful and say CGC9 on this one too. Two Vaporeons next. Pretty sure they're all in the same condition, but we'll see. and scratches galore on this thing actually. Centering's good. Almost really no whitening. Corners look good, centering's good. The surface is great everywhere except for all these scratches and surf lines on the surface. Sorry, print lines on the hollow. That'll bring it down. Let's be hopeful again that the average brings it up and let's say CGC eight. Centering looks a little thick on the left, maybe. This one... Looks about the same condition in terms of scratches and print lines on the hollow. A little bit of whitening on the corner. Hardly anything. So again, we'll call this a CGC8. Base set two cards next. Centering looks good. Hollow looks very clean. Guy I bought these from took better care of his cards than I did when I was a kid, that's for sure. A little bit of whitening, centering looks okay. Overall, this card looks good. I'm gonna call it a CGC nine. Base set to Scyther next. Centering looks good. Bit of print line action at the top there. Couple small scratches. Hardly any whitening, except for that corner. Centering looks good. Let's say CGC8 on this one because of the little bit of factory lines on the hollow foil. 
Wiggly Tough, base set two. Centering is a little thick on the left and it looks like it might be tilted a little. See how it's thinner here, thinner here, thicker there and there. Not too terrible. That hollow foil is so, must be so hard to grade. There's so much of it and it's so light. Looks like maybe a small scratch here and there. Nothing crazy. Edges and corners are near perfect. Good centering, good surface. That's a nice card. Even with the small centering issue, I'm gonna be hopeful and say overall that's a CGC 9. Mewtwo, Black Star promo. Going, getting into the last two cards here. Centering looks good. There's no hollow on these, obviously, so the surface should be easier to grade. Everything looks near perfect on this. Just a tiny bit of widening on the corners. But I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but there's a couple small creases at the corners. That'll bring down the grade. I was fairly hopeful for this one, but with those, I'll call this a CGC 8, which would still be a great grade for a 21-year-old card. And finally, my unknown Black Star promo. This one's super rare. Has a very low population. I'm not sure of the exact population, but it's a pretty rare card. I think a PSA 10 was going for something like $1,300, so let's keep our fingers crossed on this one. Surface looks great. Small imperfection there, like a little bubble or something above that psychic and its psychic symbol. Tiny bit of whitening along the corners, a little bit down here. So we definitely don't have a 10 grade, but that's still a nice card. Let's be hopeful again and call it a CGC 9. I didn't predict any 10s today. I didn't think that I would, since these are all childhood cards that have been somewhat protected in a binder, but taken in and out quite a bit over the years. So these are our 18 cards we've got going to grading. Dark Ampharos, Pikachu, Chansey, Nidoran, Magikarp, Alakazam, Venusaur are my brother-in-law's cards. And for me, I've got a Chansey, Magneton, Dragonite, Gengar, Vaporeon, Vaporeon, Poliwrath, Scyther, Wigglytuff, and a Mewtwo, an unknown Black Star promos. Pretty cool. Nice assortment of cards there for our first grading experience. Wish us luck. Let's see how it goes. Cheers, thanks for watching.